<laughs> what a day. It's our last day. It's our last day. It's our last day. This is our wrap-up video for that. And what do you want to talk about? Well, the first thing you should know about uh, coming to Medellin locals pronounce it Medellin. So this is our last day in Colombia. We really enjoyed our stay here. The people are nice. Um, the food is great. The prices are really good for an American citizen, but don't forget that the people here are struggling. So please tip. Please give as much as you can. And walking around, we felt safe all the time. I know a lot of people get concerned when you say you're going to Colombia, but we have found nothing but beauty and friendliness here. Um, we walked around in the evening and it felt safe. We walk around in the day, it feels safe. There are random thunderstorms here, so prepare for that. Uh, there was hail today. We woke up to an earthquake a few days ago, so there are things like that that go on here. But the uh, place is still holding together, so it's all nice. Uh, the restaurants have really great food. Got anything to add? Um, what I would say, uh, as far as safety goes, make sure you stay in the central area. If you start to get you know, out too far from the main city, then it could get kind of dicey. Um, somebody mentioned that someone tried to steal his phone, so just be careful. We got a Metro card. Uh, we used our passports for that particular Metro card, which gives you a discount. But for us, it wasn't worth it because the Metro is a pretty, pretty far, about a 25, 30 minute walk from our Airbnb. So we ended up really not using it. So if you're going to stay long term, maybe that will be the thing for you. If not, just get a simple Metro card. Uh, you don't need the personalized one. Yeah. And another reason why you don't need one is because taxis are really cheap. A lot of times a taxi might only cost a dollar or dollar fifty to get you know where you need to go. So a lot of people just stick to taxis. Yeah, Uber is illegal here. Yeah. So you want to download an app called Cabify. Which actually lets you... The benefit of Cabify is it lets you use a regular taxi, but you don't have to worry about um, paying, you know. Yeah, that could be a concern for people because, you know, you, they might um, tell you that, you know, the price is a certain amount and you don't have the cha right change. So then you might have a problem getting, getting back the right change. So Cabify works like Uber. You load your credit card and it just charges you for whatever ride uh, is accepted. And then you can also tip in that app. Yeah. So that's a really great app to have. I would download Cabify and use it. When you're going around the city, they have a lot of different malls and they're pretty much like any mall that you um, find in the United States. And the United States, except the fact that the malls here are, are pretty um, populated by lots of stores. So more stores than you'd expect, more choices, and uh, more people are there. It's kind of, that's the difference, I think. Coffee and food, fantastic prices if you plan on buying electronics or other things not quite you'll find it retail price of the united states or whatever retail price it is that's what it'll be sometimes a little more so if you're thinking you're going to get phones or other electronics for cheaper it is not yeah almost any item that gets imported into this country is going to be the price that that item was in that country um, local items are going to be a lot cheaper um, you know especially at food items but anything electronics or even products that you might find um, you hope that it would be cheaper but it's not one thing about the metro pass is you can rent bikes and you, you can get free bikes yeah sure. well yeah. actually it's free unless you keep it over an hour and then they'll charge you but you if you know you were saying there's a website you can go to to see how many yeah if you go to uh, the metro civica i think it is um you go to that website it'll show you a map with where all the bikes are and you can click on the different spots and see if there's bikes in that spot and like she was saying the rule is you can uh, use a bike for an hour and if you go over that then they kind of ban you and they kind of block you out of the system for a certain amount of time we did not try it uh, a lot of the time we were here it's been storming a lot so it's been pretty wet 
and then I, I don't want to drive a bike at night. It's Compared to the U.S., it can get pretty crazy. Sometimes yeah. we even see motorcycles driving through the bicycle lane. So or the sidewalk. <laughs> a lot of the time we're playing Frogger when yeah. it comes to uh, the streets around here. We're, you know, going in between cars and trying to get to where we need to get safely. So we didn't get on any bicycles, even though you can get them for free with an hour with your Metro card. Yeah. One thing that would be shocking to people is just the amount of motorcycles that are buzzing around you while you're walking, um, you know, going across a crosswalk. They might just buzz right in front of you or buzz right behind you, even if the lights are, you know, in your favor. But um, yeah, don't rely on the lights here. <laughs> rely on your senses. Yeah. Yeah, they will run you over probably. <laughs> I don't want to find out, but it's been some close calls. Uh, the coffee is wonderful here. Yeah, if you ever... Um, Absolutely wonderful. You probably would expect to come to Columbia and have great coffee. Uh, just multiply it by like three or four because it's way better than you think. Yeah. The weather here has been good. It's been colder than I've expected, kind of in the 60s, sometimes at night. It's the low 60s and it's cold. But some days it's been hot and muggy too. There is some smog that happens occasionally, especially on hot days. Yeah, if it doesn't rain for a long time, the smog will kind of build up. Yeah, so you may get a scratchy throat depending on your allergies to that. So there is smog buildup at some times. There are thunderstorms, there are hail, there are earthquakes. All in our short amount of time, we've experienced quite a bit of uh, weather changes here. We really enjoyed our time here. Yeah. Um, we would stay longer, but as you know, we're already booked to go home. So pretty soon we'll see you at home. Then we'll yeah. see you in Europe. Oh. Oh, 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 also, here you'll find there's a lot of life going on. There's basketball playing, soccer playing, soccer fields, bicycle fields. Uh, there's a weight lifting. Um, yeah, out, right outside for free. Center, yeah, and it's for free. And most people pay 30 to $50 a month for a gym membership in America. But here, you could do it for free, right outside your door. So there's lots of exercise options and things to get you active outdoors yeah and that's really nice to see yeah so thanks for watching kind of sad to leave <laughs> yeah it kind of is but you know with every long trip it's nice to go home too yeah that's the great thing <laughs>
tripod if we need it. And this is the system we're bringing to record all of this on. This is a DJI Pocket 2. We waited for the Pocket 3, didn't come out, oh well. We got the 2, all of our recording will be done on this or my phone. We got ourselves a travel safe. We're gonna keep all of our important documents in here and we can lock it to something stationary while we're away. All of this behind here is the clothes that I will be wearing on the plane. And uh, of course my hat, I'm going to be rocking an Aloha Aina hat, which gotta bring Hawaii with me, right? So here's all the things I'll be bringing. We'll be dividing it between the backpack and a small little carry-on, which I'll carry little things in here on. So. These are my two carry-ons. All right. So, um, we're both bringing the same kind of bag. Um, got my sunglasses and my mouse for my computer on here. And... There's a few reading glasses in there, but I also have more reading glasses and this for meetings. Um, I got two um, charger or not chargers, two adapters because um, I like to keep one out where I'm going to be working and then one for my phone. Uh, this is my electronics, socks and underwear, which pretty small amount because we're um, going to be using merino wool. So hopefully that's going to reduce it. I have a folder of all of our tickets and travel documents and laundry detergent sheets. We got the computer here, which is the most heaviest item. Um, this is all my bathroom stuff and uh, a few plugs and things like that. And then this is my clothes. I have two pair of pants that I'm bringing and five, I guess six shirts. So. For four months, we're going to be wearing the same six shirt. So, and then I have a, a rain jacket in case it rains. I got a rain jacket too. I forgot to show. Yeah, and a hat in case it gets sunny in my eyes. And we're going to bring our masks just in case. We probably won't need them, but better to have them than not. And um, we're going to record hopefully some aerial footage with the drone and slippers. And the last thing is like the fail safe. This gets us um, the ability to split up our luggage and get over the weight and dimensions restrictions. So it's basically a small little bag and the thing I'm going to bring in it is these two books, which that's six bottle. pounds. <laughs> and your water bottle. And yep, the last thing is a water bottle and we'll see if I can fit it all in my bag. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So one of the lessons we learned when we were traveling in Panama and Colombia is that less is more. And so we brought uh, too much stuff there. <laughs> um, it was a real big problem when we were traveling, even in the cabs that they had there. Um, but the most biggest problem was at the airport. And if we wouldn't have had any check-in bags, we wouldn't have had a problem where we missed a flight one time. And that we're trying to avoid that. Um, so we have come up with a whole new system uh, with Sandy's ingenuity and genius packing skills and all of the equipment she's bought over the years. <laughs> we were ready to um, pack it up in a whole different way. And so, as you saw, we did it. And um, the main reason that we had to fit everything in a backpack is because of the restrictions you have when you're flying in Europe. Their overhead bins are small or something. Um, so they ha they don't allow you as big of a carry-on and not only do they have it fit inside certain dimensions but also certain weights. The biggest weight you can have is 26 pounds and um, in, the, in the United States they don't even weigh your bags. But I just want to make sure I'm giving you the right sizes. The maximum dimensions you can have on your biggest bag is 22 inches by 18 inches by 10 inches. And that's pretty small. Um, a lot smaller than you'd expect. You can't really bring a rolly bag. It, won't, it would be too big. Um, and none of these things are included. We still had to pay oh, yeah. for every single bag we're bringing, except the little purse bag. Yeah, that's another thing. The airlines charge for pretty much everything. They charge you to be able to pick your seat. They charge you to be able to check in. <laughs> like They charge you for everything. And so, um, in our case, because we aren't going to check in a bag 
it actually, you know, we were able to save money because that's a big charge for a lot of the airlines. But um, even just to bring a carry-on, they charge for that. So um, I think we're ready. I think we, we fit it all in our, in our bags. We are underweight. We are undersized. And we're ready to go.